some baptisms. Uh, between now and then, we're going to be having some time where we'll be inviting you to come out. We're going to discuss some of these things. Actually, in the bulletin, I, I put a little little short paragraph in there about baptism. And uh, the question being asked is, are you ready for baptism? Some of you have been baptized. Okay. 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 Some of you came to a service. You took the dunk and all you got was wet. <laughs> Nothing happened. <laughs> I, I, I don't have time. I'm not going to preach another message right now because it's time for lunch. So I say, praise the Lord. <laughs> but you need to understand something because what baptism is about, it's in many ways our first our first order of obedience. It's your first opportunity to be obedient to Him. 
As he came down to the waters, you remember and John the Baptist was baptizing folks. And the baptism that John was doing was for the remission of sin. Here Jesus come, one who never sinned, and he wanted John to baptize him. You know the story? And, and, and Jesus says, no, no, wait, wait, no. John says, you, I, I can't baptize you. And, and Jesus says, yes, baptize me so that righteousness can be fulfilled. Because he was being obedient as well. And maybe that's what we need to recognize is what this is about. You might have, maybe as a young adult, maybe some of you were baptized or I'll say you were christened or someone brought you to a service as a baby and you were dedicated. That was not just for you, that was for your parents. Maybe they could commit to raise you right. And I know many parents didn't buy, buy into that they didn't understand because they didn't understand it. And uh, quite often, I don't know of any perfect parents, but point is, now is the time for us to decide, I want to be obedient unto Jesus. And I know that it's an outward sign. You've heard it said before, this is an outward sign of an inward work. There's a work that's going on. It's unfinished, by the way. Our work here is unfinished. As long as we live, we have unfinished business. But when we do this, when we come in the right spirit, when we come, and we're not expecting, you know, I'm going to do this, and then once I, because here's what Oh, okay, I'm going to just say it. Some of you got baptized, and maybe you, you believed it on your by yourself, or somebody had told you, you know what? If you do this, God's going to do that for you. Can I tell you, that's not the reason you do it. You do it because of what you want to do for the Lord. I want to be obedient. Yes. In other words, I want to draw closer to Him. Yes. And as you draw closer to Him, and, and you remind yourself of what, what, was, what transpired and what was supposed to take place, you remind them, wait. I went down and, and, and I died with Christ. I now am alive. I've, I've risen with him. That's what it symbolizes. Yes. I've been washed in the water. And now it's time to really be obedient. Yes. Sanctify yourself, as Peter said. Yes. Be holy. As we read the scripture, be holy because he is holy. So we have some forms out there. Uh, and... Uh, I've received a couple back so far, and I've got life stories, which is good, testimonies. And it's just the beginning, because you need to you need to know how to tell your testimony, how to tell your story, amen? Yeah? Because it will help you along the way. Also, uh, then I'm going to move up a little bit farther. This Thursday's movie night, and uh, we're going to be watching a movie called The Healing Garden. This is a time to gather, invite somebody, make a commitment to come out. Sit, watch a movie for an hour and a half, eat some pizza or whatever we're going to have, and just enjoy yourself. And enjoy the fellowship of saints, amen? Yes. So that's all I've got for, for announcements. I'm sure we'll have more discussion as we go on. Yes, brother. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, on the 29th, thank you very much. Uh, it's not in the bulletin right now, but it is official. On the 29th, on Saturday evening, five probably 5 or 6 o'clock, we're going to be out here. We're going to... Uh, it's, it's not going to be the big splash. I don't know if anybody's going to bring a bucket and apples, but that's all, all on you. Uh, somebody wants to know if we're going to have pies that they can throw in my face. I don't know. No, I don't think we're doing that this year. Okay. Unless that would cause you to come out. But anyway, uh, but we are going to have a good time. Uh, we'll, we'll be playing cards. We'll have board games out. We'll have food. Somebody say food. Yeah. That, that should get your attention right there. I'm sure it's going to be good eating. We'll probably, we'll probably do some grilling, I think, or something. So anyway, that's going to be on Saturday the 29th here at Lambert Hall, beginning about 5 o'clock or so. We're not going to be late because I want to make sure you get here for church on Sunday. But <laughs> and we're not calling it a harvest party. I'm, I'm just calling it the gathering. There so gather up, bring some friends, bring some kids for crying out loud. We'll, yes. we'll, we'll entertain them a little bit. Actually, kids are quite often entertained by silly adults. but um, <laughs> So it's okay. Thanks, Brother Barry, for reminding me. Yes. So let's do one more song. Go ahead. Thank mm -hmm. you. 